beautiful key day in Akal Island and today is Thursday the 4th of August um, so today we're actually doing uh, some workshops on photogrammetry so while the rest of the team are off uh, doing photogrammetry I'm going to give you a quick tour of uh, what we've been digging so far so here's our beautiful house site you can see our four open cuttings across the building um, and in the last week we've really started to reveal the structure of the building and really sort of get a bit of a handle on how the building was made. So we're just going to walk around to the entrance. You can see the very rough stony walls. So this house was one of approximately 40 buildings in this settlement in Keen Bay. Um, and not unusually for the time and the place, it was actually built of sod, so it's a nice little oval shaped building and the walls were actually made of sod and turf with some elements of stone in them. The uh, We're now looking at the beautiful stone made entrance, so I'm just going to come over and have a look at it. So you can see here uh, how the entrance was built, so we have two lovely curbs of stone with some really rough steps leading into the interior of the building. And just inside we have some threshold material, which I guess was put down to stop the area inside the door getting too mucky. Some of the most exciting material has come up from the other end of the building. And just here at the back, we've got up to four surviving courses of wall, which is really, really nice. The back of the building has been cut into the side of the hill, so the house is on a really steep slope. And up at this end they've scarped away the, the, the subsoil to create a nice level floor. And at the back we have this beautiful wall. And you can see that kind of arcing round. Some of the best preserved elements of, of the, the walls of the building are over here in quadrant four. And here you can see the uh, internal and external curbs of stone filled with this really dark material that's essentially the remains of the sod that built up the majority of the walls. Things are a little bit less clear <laughs> down at the downslope end of the building. So um, what we did to try and establish what was going on is we put these box sections flanking the bulks. And really interestingly when we did this, I don't know if you can see here the nice dark layer in the section, we found the original sod layer in the wall and it's covered by by some layers of that kind of light coloured stuff which is redeposited natural. So we think that's roughly where the wall would have would have uh, ran across at the end. Again here in trench three you can just see the outer curve of the building and that's back up towards the entrance. So the walls would have been pretty thick. We're talking about a metre to about a metre twenty. Up here in trench two we have some interesting paving. And this paving would have been outside the building, so it's located outside of the uh, outside of the wall of the building. And it's probably there to create a nice stable surface between the little small laneway that runs between our site and the building that we excavated last year, which you can just see there. Um, we've got some really nice finds in this area. This week we found two beautiful things, so one black one, one white one. And under some of the collapsed material at the back of the building, uh, we got some nice pottery as well. Um, so, it definitely seems like the building was deliberately demolished. The walls, um, particularly at the back of the building and at the side, have a lot of collapsed material on them. And I think this makes a lot of sense when we think of the context of this settlement. So, um, surviving here definitely the, probably late 18th, coming into the first half of the 19th century. And probably the village is demolished around the time of the famine or the years thereafter when Charles Boycott gets the lease on the, on the lands here. He doesn't want a peasant village wrecking his lovely view over Keen Bay. So, um, so that's where we are at the minute. There's the team there, you can see with Gary Dempsey, they're learning how to do photogrammetry and uh, they're recording the building from last year. 
Um, so our next step with the building here, so I mean what we've really been doing is to try and reveal as much structure as we can. So trying to reveal um, any kind of stone structure within the walls, um, any features inside the building. And when we have as much structure as we can, as a, there is revealed, we'll, we're hoping to start on our final sort of drawing, or plan of the site. Um, and that should be maybe tomorrow. Um, and then we're continuing to excavate the deposits in the interior of the building. It's quite subtle archaeology. It's quite uh, quite tricky in a way. And we've had to use a lot of slot trenches, as you can see again, down at the far end. But um, that's where we are now. And keep posted for our next update.